Hey guys, quant update, new partnership or pilot trial run. This time it's another big one like the digital euro. Yeah, it, it really is that big. So if you guys didn't hear early this week, Gilbert Viridian himself threw out there all across social media over, I saw it initially on X, about a new pilot program that Quant is into and is with the GBTD which for those of us who do not have memorized every acronym under the rising sun, it's the UK's tokenized sterling deposits. So that's supposed to be shorter, easier to say. I, I really don't think it is, but I want to get into why this is such a big deal other than this kind of one suggests that the digital Euro project is going incredibly well because this is now talking more about the pound and other diff different types of finance settlements and, um, transactions in the UK, but this is another large CBDC pilot. Things are looking very freaking bright for quant. So I'll dive right into it. If you guys have been here a couple of times and or get anything useful from this, please do press the like and subscribe button down below and let's move forward. Okay. So what exactly is this UK tokenized sterling deposits or GBDT? is think of it as like, this is the UK's big push into programmable money. This is led by UK finance. That's a pretty big powerhouse of over 300 financial firms. And we'll get into some of the larger banks specifically, but it's a pilot project to digitize traditional British pound deposits using blockchain. We're bringing the pound digitally onto quant or onto blockchain. Spoiler alert, if you didn't figure out yet, over ledgers being tested for this shit, right? So we're talking about just turning everyday bank money into tokens. We know this is what crypto does, making sure it be programmed for smart actions, automatic payments, conditional settlements, etc. But at least with this one, which is key for this kind of success of it, is it stays fully regulated and equal to regular GBP. So that way we don't have to worry about you know all the fluctuations, everything with crypto, hence as being a stable coin or CBDC. And it just builds upon UK's earlier uh, regulated liability network experiment from a year or two ago, which worked really well. It tested and shared ledgers for payments and assets across several different banks. This is the next step of bringing blockchain technology through banks in the UK and quant was chosen. So this pilot's going to run mid to through the mid 2026. So we have a kind of time frame. So is this going to affect this bull run? I mean, for hype, it sure is how well. But you know, certain crypto quants being one of these attracts a lot more long-term holders, right? Like Bitcoin, obviously, but in terms of altcoins, a lot of the layer ones like Solana, XRP for sure, HBAR, and this kind of stuff is great for holders. This is going to bring billions of dollars onto Fusion. Actually, correction. This is trillion, guys, right? Payment system. It handles $14.5 trillion annually. $14.5 trillion, right? I mean, this is one of the biggest deals of most money coming through on a crypto technology. This is going to be phenomenal. Again, presuming it goes well, it's going to go well. So obviously, Quant is involved in this. You couldn't really tell. It's it's been handpicked. The fact that it's a UK company certainly helps. There's a lot of talk, right, about American crypto, but UK is really was the powerhouse for a while, or at least one of them. And US is finally kind of stepping in through this. But UK has been setting up stuff for blockchain tech for years, right? Like overnight success with Quant, which is going to look like it in a year or two from now, is from all the years currently and in the past. So Quant's going to run the um, programmable money layer using Overledger Fusion, right? So it's all about interoperability. So this is where it's just going to connect all the banks, all the ledgers, all the systems seamlessly for secure live tokenized transactions. Mm, it's getting real, guys. And, you know, I said 300 financial firms. There are six really big ones. Right, they're actually the six major banks in the UK: Barclays, HSBC, Lloyd's Banking Group, NatWest, Santander, and Nationwide. Right, 
no wonder there's 14.5 trillion dollars going through this shit guys this is awesome you really can't get much larger banks and institutions onto your system except for the digital euro with the bank of international settlements and everything that they also already freaking have like quant is way ahead of every doing what blockchain technology was meant and talked about doing for finances all right we this is not shitting on xrp or any of that potential quant is in the lead of actually doing it so obviously this is expected to bring kind of be a revenue gold mine for a quant presuming it goes as well as everyone would hope again you don't set up a partnership thinking or hoping it's not going to go well right so Quant's going to make money by licensing the overledge, providing all these ongoing services to all the banks and UK finance. Great. When it goes from pilot to full, fully rolling out and doing everything, uh, all the expectations of inflows and transaction fees, API usage, all that requires Quant tokens for access and operations, right? Outflows, there's not too much in comparison other than things that they might have to spend to tweak programming and uh, maybe scaling over time, which that's the good problems you guys want to have is needing to upgrade to be able to take more in. So for those that are more short term, is this going to affect the price? Of course, um, good news works best when the market is sold to good news. And when this was first announced was with the week after the rut where we had a big slash from all the liquidations of Bitcoin. Uh, I'm pretty sure World War III was threatened to start for the ninth time this year. Like it just wasn't a good time. Uh, like timing just didn't work out best for price action. What it did do is when everything else crashing down, because Quant did too, it, Quant went under $100. God, Quant went under uh, 90. I think I saw it hit 86. It stopped and went straight back up um, to the $100 marker, mostly with this announcement. So it saved it from falling a lot further. And again, when this pilot succeeds, because let's one, manifest this, and two, it's I think it's very likely to succeed. Because again, if the people that run the digital euro, uh, the banks, the people involved, the CEOs, the project managers, a lot of them talk to each other and kind of work on the same projects. So it's very much implied that the digital euro is going well if it's chosen to do this as well. Again, this is going to make Quant go mainstream with finances. So in the short term, it's the hype build, right? So for this cycle, it's when it gets more hype and things become official. When they officially announce the digital euro and they officially uh, announce how well this is going, because this isn't until mid-2026, we will have big boosts from everything from there. To me, that just this quantified a long-term play for me because I don't, I don't know, like no one else does. If there's going to be an alt season crash into bear market, I mean, I'm pretty confident it will be because everyone's buying to hold to sell, but we don't know how much of a bear market there's going to be. So this is one that I want to stay in as things continue down the road. Uh, but hype's always going to help build it. You're going to hear a lot of people talk more CBDCs with quant because it's again, the one that's doing it. And then, of course, we've got the biggest secondary factor with this entire thing with Quant is that it's now a resume builder. If they get the digital euro, they get the digital pound, more people are going to hop in to do similar things because they know the system works. Uh, and then they can transition easier with interoperability of fiat from the digital euro, digital pound, and anything else. So, guys, that's a little update for today. But let me know what you guys think. I'll uh, excite you about Quant. Are you a short-term holder or are you a long-term ho holder? A little bit of both. Let me know, guys, down in the comments below. I'll see you guys again. Peace.